My Ford Ranger build is really taking shape now. It recently came back from the body shop after a full respray in Raptor coating. But there's one rather large accessory I've been keeping secret throughout this build so far, and that is this big steel canopy. It's basically a knockoff of the RSI Smart Cat, but it's got pretty good reviews both in the UK and in Australia. One of the common problems with it is that it tends to go rusty, which is why I had mine resprayed in Raptor coating, which should make that cheap powder coating a lot more durable. But as you can see, it comes in one big flat pack kit, so I need to evict my Mustang once again to make some space and try and build this thing on my own. So the building of this thing wasn't too bad at all thanks to a few videos from Aussie YouTubers who show the build process with additional tips, since the included instruction manual is pretty vague to say the least. I know even the expensive RSI canopies can be prone to leaks, so I made a point to run a bead of Sikaflex along every joint and around every bolt hole. Having it Raptor coated was definitely a good move, not only does it avoid that common problem where the original powder coating can easily become tarnished, it also makes it look a lot more rugged too. But hundreds of tedious nuts and bolts later, all four sides were combined into one pretty heavy steel structure. The most difficult part of this build process was arranging for at least three people to come by and help lift it into place. But thanks to Brendan, Wayne and my neighbour Richard, we quickly managed to manoeuvre it onto the back of the truck. And being the shortest one in the group, I was kind of regretting installing that lift kit at this moment in time. I then ran into a problem when trying to mount it into place. Because my truck now has a Raptor style body kit, the bedside covers add extra thickness to the tub. So two new holes had to be drilled in all six brackets, a longer M10 by 100 bolts sourced. up some tips on how best to drill metal from some YouTube videos, I had a late night slowly drilling 12 holes and finally managed to secure it all into place. Overnight we were treated to a rain shower which was the perfect test of the canopy's water tightness. My additional sick of legs did a decent job but it wasn't quite enough, there were some slow drips seeping through a couple of areas right on the corners of where three panels joined. I'd learned some more useful tips on neatly sealing with Sikaflex by using masking tape from watching YouTube videos of wide RWB body kits being installed on Porsches, so that really helped to run a neat bead along all the panel gaps on the outside. This canopy has built-in roof rails, which means it can take all kinds of additional accessories. One such accessory is this 270 degree awning I picked up in prep for using this truck for its first trade stand that weekend. If you've been following this build you'll know that one of my reasons for doing it is to create a promotional vehicle for my clothing brand Odyssey Activewear. I've always had the aim of not only using it to transport stock and equipment to shows and events, but for it to be part of the stand itself. It worked great to be able to pile everything inside the canopy and extend the awning to create a mini pop-up shop. So the title of this video is This Canopy Changes Everything, and it really does. It changes the whole appearance, giving it a cool rugged overland look. It changes the practicality of the truck, providing a secure and dry area to transport stuff. Unlike when I first got it when the bed was completely open without even a roller shutter. And it changes its purpose, allowing the awning to be mounted to create this mini trade stand setup. Those roof rails can also mount a rooftop tent too, so it's going to be great to go on some camping trips one day. I actually have some storage bins that transform those side gullwing doors into useful compartments. But after mocking them up I think they take up a little bit too much space inside. Space that I could do with reserving for carrying large loads. But this canopy is pretty much the final component of this Ranger build, for the time being at least. So I'll have to start working on a full walk around video of the final result. I hope you've enjoyed following along so far, but stay tuned for the odd video on whatever escapades I end up doing with it in the future.